in in light of all of these newer therapies, is there still a place for stem cell transplantation with the LBCL patients? Yeah. Uh, great question. So the goal is always to do better. And so we have this new exciting therapy called CAR-T that for a lot of patients is going to replace the role of stem cell transplant. Uh, however, uh, there still is a role for transplant uh, in patients that have later relapse. So those patients who relapse one to two years, uh, transplant is still a standard of care and an option that I would consider for my patients. And there's more than one type of stem cell transplant out there. So we often think about autologous transplants in diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, where we use our own immune system uh, to sort of uh, rebuild it after giving a high intensity chemotherapy treatment to eliminate the cancer. But there's a second type of transplant called allogeneic stem cell transplant. And, and that is where we actually replace your whole immune system with one from a healthy donor. Uh, our group actually, for patients that fail CAR T cell therapy, you know, which is one of our better treatment options that we have, but again, not 100% effective. Uh, we've used allogeneic stem cell transplant uh, to try and cure those patients and offer them something where we replace their immune system with one from a healthy donor to be able to uh, get rid of the cancer where other treatments have failed. So uh, I think that how we use transplant is gonna be redefined uh, with newer therapies and immune therapies like CAR-T or bispecific antibodies. But I do think that either auto or allogeneic transplant is still gonna be part of the treatment algorithms, especially for those patients who have failed other options. So uh, my activation point is, uh, don't discard transplantation because it's an older therapy. Um, it's just one that needs to be used in, in the right scenario for each patient.